Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about a new Windows 11 upgrade message that is shown to Windows 10 users after updating to the April update for Windows 10, of course. In this video, we're going to discuss some things about the new ways that Microsoft tries to make users upgrade to Windows 11. And I'm also looking forward to your opinion in the comments below. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows updates or news, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with a video. So as I've said, whenever you are updating to the April update for Windows 10, Microsoft will start to show a new Windows 11 upgrade message to users and you're going to see it on the screen. Basically, you get the following screen with a screenshot from Windows 11 and a message in your journey with Windows. We want to thank you for your loyalty as a Windows 10 customer. As end of support for Windows 10 approaches, we're here to support you on your PC journey. Your PC is not eligible to upgrade to Windows 11, but will continue to receive Windows 10 fixes and security updates until support ends on October 14th, 2025. Learn more about how you can prepare for the transition to Windows 11. So basically, this is a variant of this message that basically tells users that they are not eligible to upgrade to Windows 11 and the end of support date, which is October 14th, 2025. You have two links, learn about the end of support and why Windows 11. You have remind me later and learn more. One thing that users were unhappy about that you cannot dismiss this forever. Basically, you only have the remind me later button and you're going to continue to get this message maybe after each monthly update for Windows 10. We're not sure, but that could be the case. And basically, Microsoft tries to make Windows 10 users upgrade to Windows 11. In the case that you are not eligible to upgrade to Windows 11, you have, I think, a few options. You can either upgrade your PC so that you're going to be eligible to upgrade to Windows 11. You can either install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. I've done videos about this, but this is not the most recommended thing because you won't receive updates most most likely, or you can also join the extended support updates program that Microsoft is doing. And I think that would be after the end of support date, about $61 per year for a device. I think this is the price for customers. For normal users, I'm not really sure what the price will be. So basically, you have these options, or you can stay on Windows 10, but that is not recommended because, of course, after the end of support for Windows 10, a lot of security breaches will begin to show up on Windows 10. A lot of malware, viruses created especially for Windows 10 after the end of support. I think this was also the case for other operating systems, for example, XP, Vista, whenever their support ended, they started being very unsecure and a lot of viruses and malware affected those operating systems. So please let me know below in the comments, what's your opinion on this? Let me know if you have a supported computer for Windows 11, or if you don't, what do you plan on doing? So basically, this is the news update video for today. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.